Good morning, all. Welcome to Some Nuts War Gamer. My name is Ricardo, and today I want to talk to you about tank commanders because tank commanders just plainly said awesome. Tank commanders, what are they? They are basically a lemon rust with a better ballistic skill. Uh, they have a ballistic skill of three up, and a lemon rust is just uh, is good, especially because they're high toughness. They are toughness 8, uh, they can move 10, it's, a, it's quite a beast actually. And I want to talk to you about the loadouts that I think are most viable for the Lemon Russ. And I think there are 4. And mostly I just use 2 of them, because yeah, that, that's a bit my, my playstyle. But I think there are 4 viable to, uh, to use with, um, with the tank commanders. We have the tank commander and uh, four different types of cannons and different kinds of loadouts. And I'll go into the loadouts also to get it with the cannons, what I think is the, the best option for that. So let's start with uh, the Punisher. The Punisher is heavy 20, strength 5, AP uh, nothing and uh, damage 1. Heavy 20. And if you move on our half, uh, on our half range uh, for, your, uh, for your movement, you can shoot your cannon twice so that makes a heavy 40 and with that among the shots that thing is killing stuff it can get through armor it can get uh, through infantry like hot knife through butter or it's it's just yeah it's good and um in what kinds of situation would they use it against infantry but i don't like list tailoring because but um yeah, what I do with the Punisher is, uh, yeah, you, you have uh, the disadvantage if you go against uh, armor heavy list. So, I think the, the Punisher is a bit situational. Uh, a lot of times there is a lot of infantry on the field, so uh, you can use it, especially, but the range is 24 inches, and that's, <coughs> that's the only downside to it. Uh, what uh, what I use it with is heavy bolt responses and heavy bolter up front. So you have 49 shots coming out of that beast, and that's quite good. That that amount of shots will kill a lot. It, it just kills a lot. What's the best um, regimental trait for it? Get a chance. No, not much use with it. Doesn't work. Uh, Kadian could be done uh, if, if you stay still if you got an enemy that's coming towards you and it's getting within uh, 24 inches it's quite good to use that uh, for Soryan I think it's also really good with it uh, because it adds 6 up to the range for heavy weapons so it makes not 24 but 30 inch range and um, yeah that's, that's a lot better and the heavy bolter wheel would not be 36 but 42 inch I like it and they got a stratagem, uh, which they can use to get uh, plus one to hit. So that's pretty good, actually. So you're hitting on twos with 49 shots at a longer range. I think that's pretty good. Next one, Executioner Plasma Cannon. It's 36 inch range, strength 8, AP minus 3, 2 damage. I'm not going to state the other, um, the other profile because you always want to overcharge. The thing is, you only get one mortal wound, uh, mortal wound with Lamarusses for overheating plasma, uh, and, and it's not like the complete unit is destroyed. It's a special rule for the plasma vents, I guess it's called, and you only get one mortal wound. So, it's a heavy D6. So uh, then we'll get an average uh, of seven shots out of it. If you have Ketachan, probably ever average more. Um, but it's it's good. What regiments would I use this with? Firstly, Cadian. Cadian is just good with it. Just sit, uh, let it sit somewhere, relax. Uh, you got the the rerolls ones. You got the order to reroll the the. Um, the cannon shots for pound them to dust. I think it's the order is called. 
which you can reroll a random number of shots, just like Catachan for the cannon only, not for the sponsons. And um, yeah, it's just good with with Cadian. Catachan also good. Um, and if you're playing Catachan, especially, put some plasma cannons on it, on the sides. The front doesn't really matter. It depends on what you would, uh, what your playstyle is, or have you bolter on it, or uh, a less cannon on it. Those have bolter shots. A few. Uh, we'll just chip down some infantry, which sometimes is pretty good. There are the scoring stuff. There's so you probably probably like that. But plasma cannons on the side with get a chan. Awesome. Cadian also just put those uh, those plasma cannons on it because you reroll the ones anyway, so overheating is less a problem. With Ketachan you can give the order to reroll ones, so it will be less an order also. But you can reroll every every uh, no every weapon from the uh, with random amount of shots. <laughs> that is good. So an average of um, 10, 10 shots, 11, 12 shots with the plasma cannons and uh, executioner cannon it's good I like it for Stroyan yeah could do could be good uh, extra range to it that you can give the order to reroll ones anyway pretty good so let's go into the next one the next one is the plain old battle cannon and the battle cannon is so good why range it's range 72 inches you can stay out of range of anything just anything and if you're uh, going to be within range just go full throttle it's uh, it's out of the way can't shoot though but it's out of the way so what does it do 72 inch strength 8 AP minus 2 and d3 damage and um, it's it's just uh, with a with a heavy um, with a heavy weapon with a heavy D6 random number of shots. You actually got the same regiments that are good for it. So the um, the Gadian and Katachan are best suited for for those, I think. And uh, I would put plasma cannons on the sides because more shot strength eight. Love it. And the final one, just because of the, the laser spec, the, um, the Molisher Cannon. I have play tested these a couple of times. I am completely in love with those cannons. Those cannons, strength 10. So anything, Dominus 5, just winning on twos. Gotta love it. AP minus three, yeah, minus three. That's good. Damage D six. I like it. Um, downside is a damage uh, D uh, D six can be lacking, but it can also be overwhelming, and any, any anything in between. With uh, two wounds that coming that are coming through, you probably would get seven wounds or so. And with two wounds getting through of a battle cannon, you probably will get four wounds. But then again, you also can get two, or you can get twelve. So, thing is with those things is they only got twenty-four inch range, so you have got to have your tactics clear. You have got to have some backup tactics to protect those tank commanders with the monitor cannons. <coughs> Sorry for that. Uh, those tank commanders, they are um, they are best suited, I think. Full heavy flamer. Why? If a vehicle goes up front, you want to have it in close combat as an enemy because uh, it will shoot and it shoot hard. It shoots hard. Uh, the model should kind of. So you gotta have some counter for it. And I think three heavy flamers is a great counter. And next to that, uh, I've play tested this a couple of games now. For Stroyans. No, not for Stroyans, sorry, uh, Valhellans. Valhellans are good 
to help out with the close combat. Why? It's not a regimental trait, it's the order they have. Talhan infantry can shoot into close combat. You gotta love it. Don't put your screen in front. Just don't, because uh, they will slingshot into your tank. Put your tank up front and put some uh, Valhalla's behind it. So, you get the order. Uh, tank is combat. And your first range are behind it. Just flank with them a bit. Put some plasma guns in those squads. You can even get heavy infantry off of the of the tank. The only downside is every roll of a one is a hit against your own unit. Sure, go ahead. Those last guns, they're not they're not doing anything against toughness eight, or not that much, because everything can uh, can wound and damage anything. But they're not doing that much. Go ahead, shoot them. Get them off your tank. That's good. So, next to that, you're not going to only use the violence for it, but maybe some close combat stuff. Like, get a chance. Strength 4 with a lot of attacks, priest behind it, maybe Strecken with the Emperor's Conclave. Also a viable option. Downside is, tank cannot shoot in the shooting phase if, uh, because uh, it's still in combat. Other one, bull greens. Enough said. So there are different kinds of um, things to it, but uh, especially to not get it surrounded initially uh, by uh, by a small unit, and uh, so the tank cannot move out. Just put those heavy flamers on it. It will kill some stuff. Uh, especially if you have it with Ketachan, then with uh, the reroll heavy D6, it's just plainly awesome. I played a couple of games uh, last time uh, le between the the fact and now, and I played them as as Cadians. I took three tank commanders, one with the uh, with the battle cannon and hammer of Sundarins. So it's uh, Emperor's Fist Tank Company. And uh, that works pretty good. Yeah, just flat three damage battle cannon. Plainly said, it's good. I used two tank commanders with the Molotov cannons. Uh, tank commander with the battle cannon has uh, plasma sponsons, and uh, the Molotov cannons uh, heavy flamer sponsons and heavy flamer up front. And I think three tank commanders is okay. When it's a bit lacking. If you, you miss one, you are missing a lot of anti-tank power. So what I did is how could uh, what I thought was how could I get an extra tank commander in? I could use Frostorians with um, with one Lemures for one extra ballista skills uh, for one CP. Or what I did was uh, look at uh, Basque. So I went to a Supreme Command detachment. Three tank commanders and pass, pass just with a plain battle cannon. And I love it. Two battle cannons, one with Hammer of Sundarins. Not on Pask, but on a normal tank commander. Why? Uh, Pask is immediately priority target. Everybody knows him. Pask is just plainly said good. And uh, he needs to die. That's what the others think. I don't think so though. But the others think Pask needs to die. So if you put a hammer sundering on it, your hammer sundering will get shot down in turn one easily. Put it on another tank, so you will have the hammer sundering. So yeah, I'm pretty much. I don't have any any days left for tank commanders. This is what I think. Uh, what do you guys think? Am I on the correct path here? Is this is this good? Um, Plainly said, my two favorites, uh, but that's personal uh, for the playstyle, is the Demolish Cannon and the um, Battle Tank or the Battle Cannon. What do you guys think? I'm on the correct path. I would love to get the discussion going. Happy Wargaming.